Hello, in this video we're going to make a Elven Hall, uh, inspired by uh, what they made in an old Battle Games in Middle Earth magazine, but I'm going to make it my own way, uh, and this is what we're ultimately going to be making, so the roof actually comes off, and so does the bottom bit, you can remove the roof, you can remove the platform, so you just got the stone platform, or you can add Take the roof off so you can get to the inside bit. But yeah, this is uh, these are the designs based on what appeared in Battle Games in Middle Earth. But we're going to do it our own way. Uh, this has a uh, difficulty rating of two, so uh, it means that if this is uh, not your first terrain project, probably don't start here, but watch it anyway just to get some ideas. But um, Let's just get on with it. Uh, it's not too difficult, but there are a few tricky little bits, particularly the tiles on the roof. So yeah, let's just let's just do it. So we're gonna make the base first. It's made out of some uh, polystyrene, two inches thick. We're gonna measure a rectangle that's ten inches long and seven inches wide, uh, and then you're gonna mark, <coughs> come in, mark an inch either side, and then mark the halfway point, which is three and a half. And using the compass, you can uh, put it on the halfway point, measure to the inch point here, and you're just gonna draw a uh, semicircle, like so. Um, you'll come in pencil, but not, it still shows up. And then we're gonna cut this out using a hot wire cutter. So we've got the um, base cut out now. All I do now is um, pull point pen, and we're just gonna draw a uh, sort of flagstone, <coughs> not flagstone, brickwork pattern. What you notice I'm not doing is measuring bricks that like I have done in the past, because what I want is it to be a bit, uh, a bit rustic, so different sizes. So uh, it's like that really, something like I'll do just carry on in this vein, so So it's gonna be a bit more I don't know, yeah, a bit more rustic. So I'm gonna carry on doing that all round all round here, all round here, all round here, and all round here. And what we'll do is later on, I will measure, let's sort of measure a, a trim around here, and they'll, I'll come back to it when I've done it, but it's just the plan, I'm going to measure a trim around here, and they'll be match up the bricks here, and we'll do a flagstone pattern at the top here. So I'll come back when it's done. So here's the actual base completed all scored in uh, what I've done is I've gone over it with the stone just to roughen it up next we're going to do the stairs which are going to go around here uh, with this I'm going to do it out of foam ball but you can use uh, the same foam that we used for the, uh, wall, uh, the walls and stuff uh, the easiest way is just to put it on the edge here and come around this side uh, and then just draw around this bit here and to get the outer part of it you're just going to get uh, I'm just going to do it using the compass like we did before so it's just a case of I'm not being prepared should have had this uh, done so uh, let me show you so you get a compass uh, measure from the center point that we made earlier going to the end of the wall just put that in there and then just uh draw around and you want it going up to about a halfway point here and we're going to do is cut this bit out just a little tip when working with foam board uh, and cutting uh, never try and cut it 
in one go. You make a cut. Like so. What you're going to find it hasn't gone all the way through. So you just do another pass. It might take two or three passes to go through. That's gone through. See that? <coughs> and always use uh, a sharp knife, otherwise it will just pull the foam out. So using the actual uh, high density foam, it's not a problem, it just cuts straight through. But I'm just using doing this out of foam board just because I've had some spare and I want to get rid of. So I'll cut this out and we'll come back and do the next part of the stairs. Let's do the next stair, just use the one you've just cut out, put it on somewhere, trace around it, so motion it again, and cut that bit out. <coughs> so you've got your bottom stair and your new bit you cut, just line that up, put it in place, and then what you want to do is, because you want it to be a stair, you're just going to come up and sort of Mark where you want the stair. Chop that up and put it in place. And there's your first stair. And then you just repeat the process with the next bit tracing round, cutting the stair until you've got them all uh, got them all done. Which I'll do now. So this is the stairs all cut out. All you got to do now is just glue them all together and then I glue them to the actual uh, base. Next up now it's just been dried, uh, you're going to get some watered down poly filler or spackle I guess to the Americans it's going to be like that. So this just looks like looks like that. It's a bit dry so I've watered it down a bit. I'm just going to cover this up. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy just getting with your fingers. Gonna cover this up and then let it go off for a few minutes and then just draw a brickwork pattern on it. So I'll carry on covering this up and I shall get back to you in the next stage. Doing this a bit sooner than what I should be, but <clears throat> when it just starts to set, what you want to do is come in with some sort of tool and just begin to uh, put in some sort of brickwork pattern in kind of what you've done all over. This is probably a bit too wet for this at the moment, but I just want to give you an overview on how, how to do it. So I'll probably let this dry a bit more and carry on, carry on doing it. Okay, next what you want to do is cut some uh, foam, quarter inch thick foam. Uh, <coughs> it's all going to be two inches high, all the bits you're going to cut. One bit is going to be uh, eight inches, or two bits are going to be eight inches. So those one side and two bits that are going to be four and a half inches they will form the outer walls the inner walls is similar you're going to need um, two pieces that are six inches and two pieces that are two and a quarter uh, two and a half inches put those to one side for now Next, what you're going to want to do is get a piece of just rough bit of card that's one inch wide and one and three quarters uh, high. Then taking a base, you're going to use this as a template for the arches. You're going to line it up so it fits in the top there. I don't know if you can see that. It fits in, there's a the top line, so it fits in top. And then with a pen, just just draw around the actual uh, circle bit of the base, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be our archway template, which we'll cut out. Uh, so now we're going to mark the um, archways to cut out on here. What I've done, I've just drawn a little guideline here of pathway, just to give me a rough idea. A little mark here, quarter of an inch in. All I'm going to do, put the template in, 
stop the flash and just draw around it. And uh, measure another quarter of an inch. Line it up. And just draw around it. Same process here. Quarter of an inch. Draw around it. And then you're just going to carry on going all the way along. So, I'll carry on going. So I've marked them out, ready to be cut on my hot wire cutter. And what I'm going to try and do is cut both pieces out together, uh, both pieces together, save having to mark it on this this section, which I'm going to get onto now. So the uh, outer wall section is all cut out. But before we glue them together, we're going to just add a bit of detail work. So what I'm going to do is taking one of these, which are coffee stirrer you can either collect these each time you go to a coffee house or buy them online uh, it's gonna what we plan to do is just sort of put them in the center bits here just to add a little bit of detail and strengthen the actual structure itself so we're going to do is sort of put them where you want them mark it We're just gonna just gonna cut it. Not use a rule. Too difficult. These are quite. It'll take a few passes to cut through. And then you can use this on the other side just to mark again. And you got two. And you're just gonna glue these all the way around. All I was going to do is just add a bit of decorative, like so it's not totally flat, and strengthen it. So for the inner wall section, it's much the same process, except you're not going to get as many because it's smaller. Um, basically, just draw a guide halfway down, get your template, draw around half an inch each side, do that. On this end bit, you're only going to get one. So again, guide halfway down, do that cut these out and then it's the outer section do the same to the out to the inner section doing the outer section with these uh, stirrers and leave them all to dry and then we're going to glue them together next up we're going to start uh, making the roof let's do this we're going to cut triangle out which is the same width your outer uh, arches so in this case four inches and height of it can be any uh, height you want one that you look thinks good but the higher this part is here the steeper the picture the roof is the more work you're doing the tiles so uh, on mine I think I made it about three inches so that gives a pitch uh, three and a quarter inches so there's that next you actually want to cut out the main part of the roof itself which is this I've made mine out of phone call to do this it, you need to make it uh, in this case so we, uh, it's nine and a half inches so that's half inch or an inch further so it gives a half inch overhang either side and it will be the same for the width and I go for width so uh, get your slopes here and what you want to do is make sure it's whatever you You've, whatever uh, how you've made yours um, make sure it's like a quarter of an inch overhang and then at the end I uh, just wanted the front part of the roof peaked so I've made a one inch gap up here joined up and what you're going to do is score down the middle and that allows the foam curl to uh, fold in half and then this will do in here and another one in the back there's also going to be two side uh, parts which again make from phone call uh, these these can be any any sort of size you want I've made it made it four inches here yeah four inches wide three quarters of an inch higher there and then 
beak is two inches. So it's similar to how you make how I made this. Score down the middle. These will attach there. Like so. Glue all these together in a minute. Um in a pop gonna make the roof will sit on a top on a base of this which we're gonna make so the base of this is just effectively a bit of foam it's cut the same size as this sit like this what I've got to do now is out this section here so to my measure sort of where it would come to so it's like an inch over there and I think it's an inch and eighth side here measuring an inch and an eighth here inch and there inch and a quarter here inch and there and cut out a rectangle and um, I'm gonna glue it here but what I'm gonna do before I glue these to here I'm gonna undercoat this bit now using Mod Podge and black paint just to simplify that stage I'll probably even um, base so I'm gonna get on with that now when I come back the roof will be hopefully assembled and we can add some tiles in Okay, so to make the tiles, I'm going to make them out of card. We get a strip that's a half inch thick, length is just how long the card is really, and then divide it into a quarter of an inch either side. And on the halfway dividing line, see as you can uh, come along and mark every quarter of an inch long. And on the top line, I'm going to come in an eighth of an inch that line mark of an inch so you end up with it marked something like that and these are going to be used to uh, cut out my triangle so with a ruler and a knife so you're going to go from the end of the middle down to your first line on the top so and then you'd go next line along along the middle to top, I think you can see what I'm going to be doing here. Going along, and these out. Like so, and then you end up with a bit. It's worth taking a bit of time with this instead of rushing it like I've just done. And you're going to need. A heck of a lot of these because these are gonna line the roof like so. See my plan? Sticking them on like here, and then the next one will go along, but it'll go in. Spike will go. Okay, I'm gonna crack on with these and uh, get back to you when they're done. So. This is the roof all put together, and what I've done is I've started doing the tiles. Those bits and bits glued in, and the two these two sections here. Now we're going to do the tiles. To do this, you grab your tiles you've made, offer it up to see where it's going to go. You need to sort of put it into position. So we'll do that. First row, you're just going to need to glue, put glue on the on triangle corner, kind of bead down below. And you just uh, glue it in place. Like so, put it in. If there's any overhang when it's dry, I'm here, you just cut those bits. Now put it in. So, and for the next bit, do is you need to come along. And got, we're going to stagger it so triangles don't line up like so. Go across a little bit. Again, same principle. About where it's going to go. Cut it. Now this time you apply glue over the entire piece. Within the uh, spikes. 
put that that in place with the spikes line up on the on the spike bit of the uh, underneath bit. That in. So and then it's build up and up and up. So you've got something like that and what you want to do is leave about an inch top here so we're going to put a bit of board in along here so I'm going to crack on with that now and when we come back we're going to add the detailing I'm going to put a little tower up here some top in here some edging here we'll do that once all the tiles are in place roof's now tiled and what we're going to do now is detail it what I've done is I've trimmed off any bits overhanging here now the first thing we're going to do is build the base for the tower up here. It's so going to make that out of a cube of one inch, uh, a one inch polystyrene, and just going to put the see, put the uh, roof on, lining up so each part of the roof goes into the corner, and then we're just going to draw around that, and then cut that out, and that will sit on here. We we'll do now. So this is it cut out and it's, it will just rest on there ready for the tower but before we do that we're just going to add some board in here now you could use balsa wood but I don't have any so I'm just going to use card and we'll paint it wood colour but if you have balsa wood use that instead uh, it's going to be the length of this to the peak here and then angle down here but it's going to be an inch high so we'll cut two bits of that get that cut, it, cut out and then what we're going to do is do some detailing on the top here which I'll show you how to do next next we're going to make a spine that goes on top of the roof here and it's just made from one inch of foam I've just marked a little sort of wavy pattern on I'm going to cut that out we'll, uh, cut out, we'll glue it on once we've glued the spine on we'll put the board so I've cut out waves on it. On the roof I've just positioned the base of the uh, tower bit where I want it so I can figure out where I need to cut these so that's that done. I can remove this and what I'm going to do is glue these in place now ready for the boarding to go on and I'll also add the ridging in here. So I have card cut a bit hard an inch uh, wide it's as long as the building. The end bit is cut so it measures the slope. And it's just a little nick cut out here so the uh, that can rest in there. I've got one for each side. This bit was slightly different bit hard, but that will go there like so. I'll glue these in and effectively. The actual tiles and done. Uh, I'll complete the tower next and add the end bit to it. So, I've got the roof pretty much cladded, tiled, added in bits here, similar to what we've done up here. Base has been glued on. Add a bit of detail now to the inner triangles. Uh, to do this, I'm going to cut out a card triangle that matches the dimensions of this, go like that, and then Using uh, coffee stirrers as, as we did earlier, we're going to just use those, measure, draw a line down here, and also measure. We're going to cut some arches out, so we're going to measure oh, width for the stirrer halfway through, draw an arch, and then draw some lines here. And then using that out as a guide, cut those shapes out of the uh, coffee stirrers. And you're going to glue those in here. So, and when that's dry, glue those pieces to your roof. Got the uh, end bits done. Uh, right there. All we've got to do now is do. Call it actually. I forget what it's called. But anyway, the bits that go on here. Faces. Uh, Take like that. Uh, to do it, it's just a case of cutting out a triangle fit over the end with a slight bit of overhang a bit of overhang and just draw a design on it and you're going to cut that out just 
glue it on here like so. I'll get on with that. After that's done, I'm going to work on a towel. So it's going to be another cube I'm going to cut out. I'm going to get some uh, towel, I think. Like that. And this might be too big, but I have a think about that. But if I do, it's going to be an inch high. So we're going to make the uh, tower top now. It's going to be suspended on these. These are just little dowel rods uh, that you get in flat pack that I've never used, but they're going to go underneath. There'll be four of them. Um, I was going to use a dowel rod, but that seemed too big. That was my plan, so I'm going to use these instead. These seem much nicer. And plus, hopefully the camera will focus in. Uh, it's got a little... Uh, Looks like pattern in it, little slight groove in it. But to make the actual top, it's just another cube of uh, polystyrene, and you can do is put a little mark on the halfway point and draw triangles at the top, and then at the matching up at the point, you can just go and draw a star shape as a guide, and then what you're going to do is just come down with a knife and just. This is just a rough test. Take more time than this because you're going to want to get cut. I'm just doing this quickly on this bit to show you. And it's going to cut it out like that. Uh, I'll do another one. Hopefully, you can sort of see the effect I'm going to go for. And then, so you'd have that. But we have to sand a bit of that. There. And then glue the once you've done this, you're gonna glue down to the bottom and then glue this to the base of the other one. Yeah, take way more time than me this the end bit. This is the bit I'm just doing on camera to show you. Yeah, so yours would be way better than that, but it look Something like this, but better cut out. Yeah, and then get your dowels, glue those on there. One last dry, glue it to the uh, the base of the roof that we created. For painting, uh, the entire uh, pieces were undercoated in Black Pagan Mod Podge. And then for the grey base, it's like a dry brushed with a dark grey. So that's going to be uh, like Dawnstone. And then dry brushed with lighter greys. Um, these are my well, used tester pot paints from uh, Wilkinson's. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen what they look like. And they look like this. They're a few quid. Dawn Sands is the base one. So, yeah, it's just whatever grey paint you got. Um, it's basically three different shades of grey a dark grey, medium grey, and a light grey. Uh, the wood is undercoated in a dark brown so something like Rhinox uh, hide and then just dry brushed with a uh, lighter grey so uh, in this case it could be Carrick Stone but again I was using tester pots which uh, I just matched up the paints give it a dry brush and the roof is painted in much the same way uh, this brown's painted the same and the grey's Pretty much painted the same, but without the lighter highlight that's used on the stone bit. Uh, one thing I would say about painting the roof: always go down using just down strokes only. Otherwise, you'll get it. You'll start filling up the uh, detail here, which you don't want to do. And that is uh, that's the painting. There's not a lot to it. So uh, we can have a look at it all finished and a bit of a showcase. Thank you.
you enjoyed this video please like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.